Hey everybody, I'm Ben, and today I am installing a Titan flagpole uh, that I bought um, from Off Duty Flagpoles. And uh, today I am digging for the instructions. I found a hole, uh, basically I'm just making a hole, uh, kind of centering it on uh, the property. Uh, you want to make sure that you uh, call before you dig. I know that there's nothing really in this, this particular area, and I need to only go down about 20 some feet, or 20 some inches, oh my goodness. And uh, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to dig this hole and uh, we'll start up the next process of um, putting in some peat gravel. So uh, yeah. Just dug uh, down, it says uh, 28 inches down and 14 inches across. I'm like 13 and a half inches across. I think that's close enough. And uh, so now I've got some uh, peat gravel and uh, I'll show you what I got here. And the instructions basically say, two because I got to put now between four and six inches of gravel in and uh, this will help doing the drainage so now I mean you can kind of see the picture that's there and four to six inches of peat gravel which will help it uh, help it drain so anyway that's the uh, next step okay so I took that uh, peat gravel and it says now I need to uh, obviously I put that bolt through here that stop that bolt goes all the way through. You can see it there. That's just hand tightened. And then it says to basically push this into the dirt where at least an inch of it is sticking up out of the ground. Kind of see here where that is. And I think we're pretty, pretty darn close to there. And uh, then I'm going to get a level on that and level that all up and then we'll go get some concrete. Okay, so now what we've got is I've got my whole uh, I've got my whole dog here now and I've put a level uh, inside the tube on the outside of the tube and making sure that it's all as level as possible prior to putting in the uh, quickrete. And I've noticed a lot of, you know, they want you to mix up the concrete and things like that. Um, I don't ever do that. Uh, I've learned a long time ago that if you just put the quickrete in there, you add a little bit of water, and uh, it's it's pretty much good to go. So I'm going to add some of that quickrete around that pipe. I want to obviously get it inside of that pipe. I bought uh, two bags um, of that quick creek. And I'm going to add water here in a little bit on top of it. And it, realistically, there's times where we don't even add water. The, the moisture from the ground will pretty much handle that but in this particular case I'm gonna add some water to make sure it's good and good all the way so that is looks like I got a little bit left but probably by the time I add a little bit of water in here I won't have much left um, in there kind of see what I've got going on you can see there's nothing in the pipe and uh, now I'm gonna have to level it back up but I'll get some water first and we'll go from there okay so now I've got some water and uh, basically gonna dump that in and around that poke it through a couple times maybe. And, uh, that's pretty much all the extent of uh, what I'm gonna do on that then I'll level it all out And just pouring that down, make that concrete go down here. So if you can see, I, not, it's kind of hard to see, but you know, kind of push that down with that hole. And I like to uh, have that concrete down a little bit. That way, I can take some of this loose dirt when it's done. And cover it up and it'll be just like it'll be mowed 
I don't necessarily like to uh, have like a circular type platform for the flagpole. I mean, I don't think it's, I don't, just don't think it's necessary as much, but it's definitely going down and seeping down into there. I, uh, I think it's looking pretty darn, pretty darn good. I could probably get you a little bit closer up look here. See, I got water just sitting here in, uh, I don't know, just about, uh, boy, four or five minutes or so. That water's probably all going to seep down into there. So now at this point in time, I'm going to put the uh, flagpole on here and uh, kind of see if I can get that leveled out and make sure that it, because I'm just really nervous since it's not, it's not very windy today. Um, I don't think it's going to be a bad thing to actually have that whole flagpole in there. And I can actually have it at that point in time really level and straight uh, because man I'm just really nervous about that thing moving just a little bit or if my levels off just a little bit the whole thing's gonna look crooked and I just do not want that to be so anyway that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to attempt that doing that now here let's see if I can prop this up yeah, let's see here sun's casting a shadow here so I now I have the flagpole in the ground. You can see, uh, we've got uh, putting a level on it now. Now if I can get close enough here to the level, you can see the bubble where we are, and that honestly is looking pretty good. I need to bring it back this way just a tad. And uh, I was talking to Jerry, and he was saying that uh, if it's not windy out, I can go ahead and leave the. Uh, the pole in the ground while the concrete hardens around that so ultimately that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do because that looks like I said I was just really nervous about this thing being off-center and I just I don't know I just get nervous about that stuff I mean concrete's pretty pretty permanent to say the least and if I'm going all the way around this pole it's looking pretty level all the way around so that one's off just a little bit, but if it's off just a little bit, you're gonna sure notice it uh, when it's 30 foot up. So I have uh, finished with the concrete. You can see a lot of that water has already uh, dissipated through that concrete. And over the next day or so, it's going to just continue to get harder. Um, for sure, it's gonna draw in some of the moisture from the ground. I left a little bit of topsoil there for me to put around that base. Because they said you want about an inch up off the ground for that plastic base. Uh, which I'm kind of nervous about because it's going to get weedy all the time. But uh, regardless, it uh, it's there. You can see the... Uh, I got the 25 foot silver pole. And uh, it's pretty cool. I've been really excited and wanted a flagpole for a long time. So I didn't buy a light for it because I'm going to actually run landscape lights from uh, around the drive uh, and out to this to this here so um, I probably won't get to that till next next week or so but regardless it is in and hoping to try it out tomorrow um, pretty exciting stuff so that is my update and uh, I'm Ben so thanks for watching uh, if you have questions make sure to hit me up below uh, any comments uh, I'd be glad to uh, respond to anything and uh, help you out where I can so once again thanks uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day Thank you.